<laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my daily broadcast. Uh, today's Labor Day, by the way, so I guess I was a bit rushing around and finally trying to sit down and do this. So I'm a couple of minutes late, considering my time is supposed to be 5 p.m. I'm just a couple of seconds minutes late, so hopefully you weren't waiting long for me to show up. Um, of course, you might be out playing and enjoying yourself on Labor Day, in which case, forget, forget what I just said. As you're watching the replay. My name is Barry Selby, and before jumping into, into explaining, no, let me start again. Hi, welcome to my broadcast. <laughs> today's topic, or today's episode, is number 459, and the talk today is relationship, the right order, or the right way, um, or excuse me, attracting relationship, the right order, the right way. So... I'm going to jump into that. Sorry, I've got a cat meowing at me again. He's been hanging here all day and now he wants to go give me attention. But he's going to have to wait till I finish this. So let me choose myself. My name is Barry Selby and welcome to my broadcast. I do these talks every day. Um, sorry, introduce myself first, then tell you what I'm doing. Yes, you've got my name. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And every day, now I'm in sequence, I do these talks. Um, no, I didn't. I missed that. <laughs> this is obviously a casual, this is obviously a holiday because I'm not in sequence. I have, been, I have not been drinking, just to be clear. So let me start over from the beginning. Hi, welcome to my broadcast. This is episode 459, and the title today is Attracting Relationship the Right Order or the Right Way. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women finding balance in love, life, and business. Find finding balance, yes, and I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's number 459 in an ongoing series of talks. And the topic today is attracting a relationship the right way or the right order. I did it. Hey, good. I'm up to speed. Okay, finally, I can jump into the topic. I apologize for the delay, it was getting my head straight so I could do this. Um, and what I want to do basically is, in a way, is give you like a distillation and a synopsis of what it is that works versus what doesn't for you to attract an amazing relationship. And this is aimed primarily for the ladies, although some men can pick up tips from this as well, just to be transparent. Because relationship attraction is a feminine skill. People in their feminine, as in men or women, can attract relationship. People in their masculine, men and women, can hunt or pursue or chase down or seek relationship. So be clear. So seeking is masculine, attraction is feminine. So women, when you're in a feminine, there's a way to attract relationship. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I want to give you some keys that are what I would suggest are the basic, um, not landmarks, but they are the stepping stones, the keys to get you to where you want to go in a relationship, to attract what you really want. And, <clears throat> and I want to make sure I give you this in a way that is digestible, concise, and effective. Because otherwise, why would you bother watching? <laughs> so, um, first of all, one of the things that a lot of people forget to do, well, let, me, let, let me put it first with the way people don't do it right, or should I say ladies in particular, how you don't do it right, is three weeks ago, three months ago, you had a breakup, and you've basically been licking your wounds, and you're finally getting to the point where you're going, I'm so fed up because I'm single again, I want to get in a relationship. Let me go on Tinder and see what I can find. That is... It's an error in approach, just to be transparent and clear. Now, if you have no desire for a healthy relationship, and if you don't really care what sort of relationship you have, and if you are in your masculine ladies, then go ahead and do that, because that's what's gonna happen. Because Tinder, like most smartphone apps, dating apps, swipe apps, and dating sites, are designed for men, not for women. Or should I say designed for the masculine, because it's a hunting gallery. It's like a shooting range to see what's out there and go, oh, that's cute, that's not, that's cute, that's not. And you go hunting. That's a masculine practice. Sorry, ladies. So, instead, what I recommend is three weeks, three months ago, we had a breakup. And the first thing you do is you start to take care of yourself. And... If you have well, if you haven't been doing this before, start taking care of yourself. If you have been doing it before, do it more. This is the time where sometimes those wounds can become so um, embedded. If it's a bad breakup, there's a lot of wounding, hurt, pain, suffering, whatever it was. That if you don't do the work, as in you don't love yourself up and do some 
guided support from somebody else, coach, counselor, therapist, to heal those wounds, they're going to become embedded and they'll become, become, become scar tissue in the way that, that toughens your heart to, open, to be able to love again. So it limits your ability to love. Key lesson here. If your past relationship really hurt you, before you do anything else, is it's important for you to love yourself and also to remove any scar tissue around your heart, the wounds, the heartbreak, the suffering that you've been through, so you can love fully again. Whether you do that through um, self-love practice, which I recommend, or better yet, you go see a coach like myself, which I also recommend, where you get to work with somebody who can help you unpack and, um, it's almost like unpacking a wound so you can actually heal it properly. So it's taking away the scar tissue in a way exposing the wound in your heart and then applying loving to it so it can heal. And that's that. I'm saying very succinctly, but it's a much bigger piece than just that. But that's the piece to get you started. So that's one thing. And that's the beginning. So first of all, is to do the work inwardly to love yourself and heal yourself. Because until you do that, you're going to be looking through a very tinted or tilted lens that's being governed by your history. So after that breakup, again, how long it takes for you to get to the point where you can, you can get your head above water or you come out from, from your, um, what's the word looking for? Your, your little hideaway where you've been wrapped up in a ball in a, in a fetal position for the last three months. Um, get help. Whether it's going to be doing something direct where you're going through some sort of guidance or whether you're just doing it through you loving yourself. Before you start looking at relationships, before you start going to dating apps, that sort of stuff, I'll get to that eventually. But before you do that, heal yourself first. Because again, the the injuries, the wounds, the pain you carry from the past is going to be stuck inside if you don't heal it, and it's going to block you from being able to love properly again. And every relationship you've been through before that who didn't that didn't happen before, they didn't heal before, that's more wounding you're carrying that's going to be scar tissue. And if you've ever seen, or if you've ever experienced, um, getting injured, wounded, cut, so axes, whatever where you see the scar tissue, the skin is not as soft or as flexible as it used to be. Same thing is true metaphorically for your heart. So I'm adamant about this point, is to ignore and suppress anything that happened in the past is just adding more scar tissue to your heart. So get some support, get healing, get that done. And I'm gonna give you some links at the, links at the end, by the way, you can get some help from me, just because you know, it's my work. Second piece is once you've got to the point where you are no longer carrying the wounds from the past, that's when you continue to apply the self-love that I mentioned at the beginning. Because now's the time to really apply loving to yourself like a like bathing in coconut oil or something is the way of putting it, I guess. But in the way I want to mean this is that you want to really find yourself in a place where there's no, no out there that needs to feel like you've got to go to get love. You fill up from the inside by loving yourself. You really actually fill yourself up in a way so that you don't need anything else. This is counterintuitive, I know. But if you want an amazing relationship, it starts by getting up and loving yourself so you have an amazing relationship with yourself first. This is one of the biggest secrets, by the way. It starts with loving yourself because two things happen. <clears throat> one, your drive, your need for relationship diminishes. So you don't need somebody else. And that becomes healthier so you're not coming to a place of hunger or lack that upset, that, that pushes other people away. Secondly, you actually become more attractive because you are in fact being more radiant by loving yourself fully. Again, one of the best kept secrets. So self-love and appreciation and nurturing yourself like bathing in goat's milk, strength analogy is coming up, will be a great place for you to do the work after you've healed the wounds to really build up your support system so you love yourself fully and become more attractive to relationship and also more clear that you don't need a relationship. Double whammy there. That's two. Three. This is when you can start looking for a relationship. Yes, third step, not first step, third step. Actually, let me hold that for a second. Let me rewind, second step. Between that step and the looking, that's the piece, yes. I had to re remember one piece I'd slipped on. Is between that self-love and you start looking for a relationship, there's a few other pieces I, f I totally forgot about, which is how bad of me to do that. Let me, let me get clear on it. Once you're loving yourself fully and owning, and owning your magnificence and really loving who you are, it's time to set up your life to make space for a relationship. Yes, make space for a relationship. Because you may be realizing now that you're loving yourself so fully that you're not actually looking for love that way anymore. 
In fact, what you want to do is you want to change your life to fit where you are and where you're going so you can be fully supporting yourself and loving yourself and embracing who you are. And that can play into all areas of your life. So maybe your friendship circles will change. Maybe your vocational career will change. And certainly maybe your, your home life will change. So the environment you're in, the, the place you live, those things you do in your life will change. Maybe you go to do dance classes now and, and maybe you still do, maybe do yoga. Maybe you weren't doing that before. Maybe after the last breakup, you didn't do anything for months. Now is the time we can focus on doing those things that you neglected. So loving yourself enough to go do those things that are fun, playful, enjoyable. Again, because they make you more attractive. And the funny thing is you'll be in places where you might meet somebody that'd be interesting. See, they're all little seeds or plants along the way so that you actually get more attractive what you want in a relationship. So that's, that was step three then. So, oh, yeah, step four, one, one last piece before I tell you how to get about attracting. <laughs> Give you all these pieces of the puzzle. The fourth piece is to start getting clear about what you want. One of the biggest things people don't do is before they meet somebody, they get clear about what sort of person they want to meet. They just go around and go, oh, they're cute. Oh, they're not, and all this stuff. And it's not, it's, the world is designed for you to create what you want, not to just put up with what's given to you. So that one again, because this is a big point. The world is designed for you to create what you want, to attract what you want, not to put up, put up with what's given to you. If you're putting up with what's given to you, you're playing too small and you're playing too shallow. You deserve better. So getting clear about you want what you want is the way to tell the universe, the world, the environment around you what you really want, because then it can deliver. And by the way, that's the secret to everything in life, not just relationship. So if you get that from this, use that everywhere. That will give you the environment, the space, and the creativity to really express what you want in a relationship, to attract what you want to have in a partner and in life and what you want to, have, what you want to do together. When you build that vision up strong enough, combine it with the self-love you've been doing in a previous step, and you become a magnet, a powerful magnet for what you really want. Then, finally, which is step five now or six, you start looking for what you want, it shows up that fast. It's that clear. Because you now know what you want and you're so uh, absolutely magnetic for it that you now create a clarity of vision and a magnetic pull to bring it in. You combine those those together and it's a, it's a um, what do I want to say, not a fail, so it's not the right word, but it's a guaranteed way to work. I don't see if there's anything else. Oh. <laughs> and on the end of that, keep loving yourself. Because the thing about this whole journey is the journey of self-love through the whole thing, from the beginning to the end, inclusive is self-love through the whole thing. I'll make sure you get this, because this this is a, um, um, say this, it's a guidebook for everything you want to have in a relationship. And actually, you can apply these rules to the life itself, how you love life, how you attract what you want, and it's going to work for you in amazing ways. I'm just really saying I've given you everything in a very short period of time, but I don't think there's anything else. I think that's everything I need to give you on this because if you follow these steps, as simple as they are, they will change your whole game plan for a relationship and it will change what you attract and it will raise the standard for your relationships massively up. So now, um, a couple of links I want to mention to you because I did mention some, drop some hints along the way and be transparent. I have... Besides working with clients privately one-on-one, -on -one, which if you want to do that, I'll tell you the links to find out more about that. I also have a couple of options for you to start building that um, love muscle inside to really start flexing for yourself. So support for yourself as well as um, getting clear about what you want. So if you are single, well, I'm a bit back up saying, if you want to learn a really powerful self-love practice, um, I have on my website, if you go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love, you can actually read about it there. It's, it's two audio guided meditations and a workbook that really builds up the self-love practice with mirror work. It's powerful stuff. That will be something you can do through the whole process. If you are single and looking for a relationship, ladies in particular, and you really want to focus on what you want, then your, um, I want to say this, one of the best action steps you can take, yeah, that sounds good. One of the best action steps you can take is to check out my Attract the Man You Want program which is an eight module program that resets really up the vision. I mentioned a few other pieces, but there's more to it than that because there's eight modules that have you take from the beginning to the end of how you can create the attraction for what you want in a relationship. It's, it's available as a standalone program or also with private coaching. And if you go to barryselby.com forward slash ATM, attract the man, 
and check that out. That'll help you information on that. And the coaching link, by the way, you can't get coaching with me unless you first have a conversation with me first. You go to barryselby.com forward slash chat. I'll put all the links in the comments below. But basically on my website, these are all available. If you go to my website, which is barryselby.com, you can find out all my stuff is there, all my programs, my coaching, my offerings and other things as well. So that will help you with that. This is my 459th Facebook Live in a row. And this is Facebook Live first. It will be on YouTube and on my podcast. I'll give you the links for that as well. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook Live, my personal page. And then it goes on to my business page in the archive or replay version, which is Barry Selby author on Facebook. I also then post them onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. I'm trying to get messages from the masculine, which is also the name of my podcast on iTunes. So if you go to iTunes, search on the podcast on Messages from the Masculine, you can subscribe and download my podcast there, which is the audio version of these. Um, say 459 of these, there's more coming on my podcast, and this is my, my daily um, offering. So I hope this has been of use to you and been a benefit. If you have any questions, comments about this, please put them in the comments below. I will add the links below as well so you can find them directly and just click through there. And uh, with that, I wish you well. Love yourself first. Attract the love you want. Fall in love the right way and have an amazing relationship. Because you deserve it. We all do. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, again, check out the links. If it fits for you, jump in where you feel like it lines up for you. Um, back in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time for one another broadcast. That'll be a regular daily, weekly one. I'll be dressed up back again because this is, this, is this is my Labor Day casual gear. So I'll be back again tomorrow. I'll see you again then. And uh, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye.